controlling you there. Hey, yes, Glenn, I'm here. <laughs> hey, Andy, you're there. Yeah, I'm here, always here. It's it's my job. And I appreciate that. I, I really mean it. I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, sure, I do. So? So? How are things going down there? Well, you know, it's kind of weird. Things are getting a bit tense these days. Oh, the whole virus thing? Yeah, well, that sucks. Um, how's the family doing? As good as can be expected, you know, with the social distancing and all. Oh, right, yeah, everyone's meant to keep uh, isolated. I guess that's got to be pretty hard. <laughs> Sorry, that was insensitive of me. No, no, it's okay, no worries. It's funny you should mention isolation, though. It's kind of why I write. It's okay, Glenn. I can only imagine how lonely it gets up there. Um, is Yuri still putting peanut butter in your socks? No, we're past that. I could ask Dennis to uh, have a word. No, it's it's all good. Okay. Anyway, so you, you remember the last conversation we had last week? about the emptiness of space and just how much emptiness there is out there. Sure. You asked me if I thought if we were alone in the universe. Right. And I said, I don't know. How could I forget? It was a riveting conversation. And I said that even if there is life, that space is so vast, we'll probably never find each other. Right. And then you said that if life is out there, then some of it had to be really, really advanced. Glenn. And if life was so advanced, then surely they'll be able to find Glenn, something. I was there. I remember the conversation. Well, I gave that a lot of thought after we talked. Great. It made a lot of sense. Glad I could help. That it was uh, a kind of proof that we really are just here all alone. Glenn, I've got macaroni and cheese in the microwave. That we're all just alone in the universe? Uh-huh. Except for here on Earth, of course. Glenn, can we just put this on hold for a second so I can run oh, and get my food? Fine, sure, go ahead. Where, where was I? Alone in the universe. Right, so you had to kind of convinced me that we, we are just alone in the universe, and that kind of got me down. Because the whole reason I got into space sites in the first place is my dreams about finding alien life. Look, Glenn, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no, really, uh, it, it's fine. Uh, I, I mean it. Yes, you kind of got me down, but I think actually that's a good thing. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Look, Glenn, you only have two months left up there, but if you want... No, 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 it, it, it's, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Uh, no worries. It's fine. You just said you weren't. I... Okay, I did say that. Okay, let me back up a little, okay? Uh, so I was feeling kind of low, and that started to get me feeling homesick, and so I started... Spending a lot more time looking out the windows. Glenn? It's beautiful. Yeah. And the thing is that while I was looking out there, I kind of noticed something. Wait, notice something? Yeah. Like, on the station? All right. Is it a, a malfunction or some sort of damage? There's a reporting system for this, Glenn. We've no, no, gone we'll over this. What? Well, I, I think this is something you guys should see, so Dan's there. Glenn, to be honest, Dan is not too fond of you at the moment, so it would be better if you just told Wait, what, me. What, what, Dan, why is Dan upset with me? Let's just say, mm, I, I would rather not. But Andrea, come on. Look, I would rather not say. Andy. You know we monitor your internet usage down here, right? <laughs> you, you, you do? Uh-huh. So just like, wait, you, you do? Anyways, my macaroni and cheese is getting cold, and it doesn't taste hey, the okay, same when... Forget that. We probably shouldn't wait Is this a malfunction? Is it something dangerous? Can you just activate the camera for Windows 7? Is it a malfunction? Is it life-threatening? No, no, it's nothing like that. It's amazing. <sighs> can, can you see it? Yeah, I, I see it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It, I mean, I mean it's, it's incredible, but I don't know if I sadly call it beautiful unless Andy, uh, is there something you want to tell me? Glenn, 
I'm really hungry. And my dinner is now macaroni in cheese scented concrete. And as beautiful as the earth is, I see this feed about a million times a week. Looks like camera seven, sorry, can you just activate the camera from uh, window 7A? 7A? It's stars. I see stars all the time too. Can you just tell me what this great epiphany is so that I can okay, go? Okay, okay, so I, you know how I said that you kind of convinced me that we really are just alone here in the universe? Actually, what I think I said... Well, I think that your argument might be flawed. It wasn't my argument. I think that even though the logic is sound, there may be an even greater reason for me to hang on to my childhood hopes. Good for you. I really want to share this with you. Oh, God. All right, all right, Glenn, go ahead, share it with me. What did you realize? Damn. All right, this can, this can wait. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my food. 16A, can you just activate camera 16A? Glenn? But like, right now, we can debate it later. <sighs> I'll try that. Sh shit. So you see what I mean about hope? I think I better get down. <laughs> Are you? Said the heart mechanic to the soul technician. How, how, how do you how, do? How, how, but his murmurs intercepted by a clock tick ticking. Me, oh my. You're looking like you need a visit to the town mortician. I, 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 can hear a word over the Tuesday clock to the past or three the next afternoon. But we're still on lockdown.